Hello students, welcome back to our class. Let's continue with the problems given in previous board examination. Right? See here, the angle of elevation of the cloud from a point 60 meters above the lake is 30 degrees. And the angle of depression of the reflection of the cloud in the lake is 60 degrees. So find the height of the cloud. Okay? So find the height of the cloud. In order to find the height of the cloud, we should understand a few set of laws of reflection. See, when you have a lake and you are something at very far distance and its image can be seen, its reflection can be seen in the lake. Reflection can be seen in the lake, then what do you observe? What is the distance of the object from the surface of the lake? And what is the distance of its reflection from the surface of the lake? So it remains inside the lake. Remains inside the lake means what? You didn't, don't have to go deep and deeper. But according to laws of reflection, whatever the distance of the object from the surface of the lake should be same as distance of its reflection in the lake from the surface of the lake. That is what the only thing that you need to understand here. Fine. So the angle of elevation of the cloud from a point 60 meters above the lake. See here, above the lake, I am taking one, for example, this is the surface of the lake. Okay, surface of the lake. And this is what is the position of the cloud. This is the position of the cloud. And from a point 60 meters above the lake, 60 meters above the lake, for example, I am taking one point here. So this point is 60 meters above the lake. 60 meters above the lake from here the angle of elevation of the cloud is observed to be 30 degrees so from here you are observing so that you need to draw a horizontal line okay from here the angle of elevation of the cloud is going to be 30 degrees is 30 degrees and uh, the angle of depression of the reflection of the cloud in the lake. See, this is the surface of the lake, right? I will just show a different small difference. That's it. So this is what is the surface of the lake. Okay. This is the surface of the lake. And now you observe its reflection will be inside the lake. Suppose this is the reflection of the lake. Fine. And uh, the angle of depression of its reflection. So this is what the angle of depression. Angle of depression of its reflection in the cloud of the cloud in the lake is going to be 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees. What are you going to find? Find the height of the cloud from the sea level or from the lake surface of the lake. This is what is the height. So this is what you need to find. In order to find this height of the cloud from the surface of the lake you once observe this is right angle this is right angle of course this is also right angle and just now we discussed about the properties of the reflection that is this distance should be same as this distance okay so I am taking this is AB and this is CD and this is E and this is F. Okay. E and the F. Since it is 60 meters, we are going to find the height of the cloud. Let it be H. And this is 60 meters. So this is also 60 meters. Okay. See here. Angle of elevation of the cloud from a point 60 meters above. So that this is 60 meters. This is 60 meters. And this distance equal to H. So obviously this distance is also equal to H as we just discussed okay see here it is 60 meters this total one is equal to h what about the only distance ec that is going to be h minus 60 it is going to be h minus 60 see again there are two angles one is 30 and one is 60 obviously there are two unknowns so one unknown is already h the other unknown is going to be the horizontal distance let it be some x Hope you understand. Right. Now I am going to find the value of x as well as the value of h by taking relevant trigonometric ratios. So first thing I am going to take triangle ACE from triangle ACE from triangle ACE 
in this angle is equal to 30 opposite side h minus 60 adjacent side is equal to x so that i am going to apply tan so that tan 30 degrees is equal to side opposite to 30 is h minus 60 divided by x correct what is the value of tan 30 tan 30 equal to 1 by root 3 so 1 by root 3 is equal to h minus 60 divided by x by cross multiplication x into 1 equal to x which is equal to root 3 into h minus 60 this is one information or one relation between x as well as h hope you understand next coming to the triangle a c f from triangle a c f from triangle a c f angle equal to 60 but opposite side is going to be this is 60 and this is h so it would be 60 plus h so tan 60 degrees is equal to side opposite to 60 degrees is 60 plus h so 60 plus h divided by adjacent is equal to x what is the value of tan 60 tan 60 is equal to root 3 divided by 1 which is equal to 60 plus h divided by x x is equal to root 3 into h minus 60 on simplifying root 3 into root 3 equal to 3 3 into h minus 60 so 3 h minus 3 60 sir 180 is equal to 60 plus h into 1 is equal to 60 plus h correct transpose this h towards left hand side and 180 towards right hand side then it would be 3 h minus h is equal to 60 plus 180 what is 60 plus 180 2 h is equal to 240 so 2 h is equal to 240 then h is equal to 240 divided by 2 what is 240 divided by 2 which is equal to 120 meters so what does it mean the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake is going to be 120 meters so here the only thing is how effectively you can understand the problem and drawing the figure only matters right moving on to the next problem so what is the next problem here two pillars of equal height stands on each side of a roadway 150 meters wide so for example this is the road whose width is equal to 150 meters two pillars of equal heights so this is the first pillar and this is the second pillar so these two pillars of equal heights let first pillar be a b as well as second pillar be c d and then joining on the roadway between the pillars the angles of elevation of the top of the pillars are 60 and 30 degrees see wide from uh, joining on the road highway between the pillars somewhere in between the pillars so for example this is what is the point here so from this point the angles of elevation are going to be 60 degrees and 30 degrees so one angle of elevation of the pillar is going to be 60 degrees and another angle of elevation is going to be 30 degrees so what are you going to find here find the height of the pillars and the position of the point so position of the point is equal to some p this is the point p now i am going to do one thing that taking bp is equal to some distance because total b d is going to be bd is going to be 150 meters since bd is going to be 150 meters and let this distance is equal to x if that distance is equal to x what is this distance bb is going to be 150 minus x i do not know what is the height of equal pillars let it be h and h this is right angle this is also right angle now it is very much clear that i have two right angles and two angles as well as two unknowns one is x as well as one is h so that i will apply trigonometric ratios for both the two right angle triangles okay so first right angle triangle what is that from triangle a b p otherwise you can take triangle p d c also from triangle p d c in this triangle p d c i am applying tan 60 so that tan 60 degrees is equal to side opposite to 60 degrees is h divided by 
adjacent to 60 is equal to x. But what is the value of tan 60? Tan 60 is equal to root 3. So root 3 by 1 is equal to h divided by x. By cross multiplication, h is equal to h is equal to x root 3. This is one relation between h as well as x. After that, I am going to consider the triangle ABP from triangle ABP. Again, I should apply tan that is tan 30 degrees. So tan 30 degrees is equal to side opposite to that is equal to h divided by adjacent to that is equal to 150 minus x. Substitute the values. What is the value of tan 30? Is 1 by root 3 is equal to h was already there that is x root 3 divided by 150 minus x. So by cross multiplication root 3 into x root 3 x root 3 into root 3 equal to 3, 3 into x is equal to 3x, which is equal to 150 minus x. When you transpose x also this side, then it would be 4x is equal to 150. Therefore, the value of x is equal to how much? x is equal to 150 divided by 4. So, what is 150 divided by 4? Let us try to understand. So, 4 once 4, 4 3s are 12. And then 30, 4 7s are 28, 20, 4 5s are 20. So 37.5 meters is the width of this part and the other part would be 150 minus 37.5. So that is what is the value of x. x is equal to 37.50 meters. And to find out the value of h, see h can be obtained from this. That is h is equal to x root 3 x is equal to 37.50 into root 3 meters. So this is what is the height of equal pillars. So this way you can easily answer this problem. Right? Moving on to the next problem. So the next problem is going to be a moving boat is observed from the top of 150 meters high drift moving away from the cliff. The angle of depression of the boat changes from 60 degrees to 45 degrees in 2 minutes. Find the speed of the boat in um, minutes per second, whatever it is, meter per hour, whatever. See, uh, a motor, a moving boat observes from the top of 150 meters cliff. 150 meters high cliff means, see this is the horizontal and uh, this is 150 meters high cliff. So from here observing. So first of all, this is the position of the boat. Okay, from here he is observing so that you will have to draw one angle. Uh, what is that horizontal line? It is perpendicular. And this is what is the angle, right? So at any instant, the angle is 60 degrees. So that this angle is going to be 60 degrees. And after that, it is the angle of depression of the boat changes from 60 to 45 in 2 minutes and it is moving away from the cliff. Away from the cliff in the sense boat is moving in this direction. Okay. So then this is the another position of the boat. Then this is what the angle of depression. Then this angle is going to be how much? 45 degrees. And if this angle is 45 degrees then this angle is also 45 degrees as we already discussed. Since these two lines are parallel lines, then that line will be transversal. So these two angles are said to be angles of internal interior alternate angles. And this entire angle is 60 degrees. So if this is 60, then this angle is also equal to 60 degrees. But what is given in two minutes? In two minutes means this is the first position of the board and this is the second position of the board. Time taken is equal to two minutes. Time taken is equal to 2 minutes and we do not know what is the speed of the boat. Speed is equal to uh, like x meters, x meters per minute. I am taking meters per minute and I do not know what is the time taken here. So time is equal to t minutes only and speed of course is equal to meters, x meters per minute, x meters per minute. Let this be pq. Okay, this is also just quite similar to the previous problem. I am going to find out what are the distances now. 
the distance is here the distance ab is equal to speed multiplied by time here speed is equal to x meters per minute time is equal to 2 minutes so minutes minutes cancel x into 2 is equal to 2x meters that is ab similarly aq is going to be aq here x minutes sorry t minutes and it is x meters per minute 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 cancel x into t is equal to tx meters that is aq now i am going to apply trigonometric ratios the first triangle is pqa from triangle from triangle pqa or paq angle is equal to 60 opposite 150 adjacent side is equal to aq so that i am going to apply tan so tan 60 degrees is equal to side opposite to 60 is 150 divided by adjacent to 60 is equal to aq aq is equal to tx the value of tan 60 is equal to root 3 so root 3 by 1 150 by tx is equal to root 3 so by cross multiplication tx is equal to 150 divided by root 3 meters that is the value of tx tx equal to 150 by root 3 and again i am going to take triangle pqb from triangle pqb or pbq now the angle is tan uh, angle is 45 so tan 45 degrees is equal to side opposite to 45 is 150 divided by adjacent to 45 is equal to total bq bq is equal to ba plus aq ba is equal to 2x aq is equal to tx so 2x plus tx 2x plus tx but tan 45 is equal to 1 so 1 by 1 by cross multiplication 2x plus tx is equal to 150 the value of tx is equal to 150 by root 3 i am substituting so 2x is equal to 150 minus tx but tx is 150 by root 3 correct so when i take one 150 common here so 150 into 1 minus 1 by root 3 what is 1 minus 1 by root 3 root 3 minus 1 by root 3 that is 150 into root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 again into root 3 divided by root 3 because the denominator is irrational number so root 3 into root 3 equal to 3 3 fives are 15 that is 2x but the value of x is going to be 225 are 50 therefore x is equal to 25 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 meters this is what is the speed meters per second right meters per minute sorry meters per minute this is what is the speed of the boat speed of the boat is going to be 25 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 so this is the way that we can um, uh, understand what kind of problems are very important in this particular topic and on the whole i just want to repeat it again that in this particular topic figure is very very important and relevant information as well as whatever the trigonometric ratio that are that you are going to use is also very very important and plays a major role so hope you understand and enjoy the class thank you